Namaste, everyone. My name is Lisipriya Kangujam. I'm 10 years old, Indian climate and environmental activist, and also the founder of the Child Movement. Right now, I'm studying at Tran International School in grade five. I am fighting to save our planet and our future. I'm representing the voice of the millions of children of the world and the millions of countless and voiceless animals. I have born in Manipur, which is a small carbon negative state of India bordering Myanmar. And it's full of rich biodiversity. And it's surrounded by lush green mountains and a luring atmosphere. But I have grown up in Bhubaneswar, Odisha for my schooling. My life was hit by Cyclone Titli in 2018 and then Cyclone Fani in 2019. During the cyclones, many people lost their lives. Many children lose their parents. And many people became homeless. And many people lost their homes. I'm very sad and worried about them. I could not sleep. I could not drink. I could not even take my food. And after that incident, I have moved to Delhi. And again, my life got all messed up again due to the high air pollution and heat wave crisis in Delhi. So all such incidents I have met in my young life turns me into a child climate and environmental activist. Many people told me that you are too young to get involved in such activism. But I proved them that Age doesn't matter to make a difference. I'm big or small, it doesn't matter. I am a girl child who strongly believes that all the children living in this world can lead the change. So all this gives me hope to fight for our planet and for our future. When I was just around six years old, I got a chance to attend a United Nations disaster conference in Mongolia. I met many world leaders, great scientists, experts, policymakers, and many climate activist friends there. It was a life-changing event for me. After returning back from Mongolia in July 2018, I have started my own organization called the Child Movement to call our world leaders to take immediate climate action to save our planet and our future. I addressed the world leaders at United Nations Climate Conference 2019 COP25 in Madrid, Spain. I also submitted a petition to the United Nations Secretary General Mr. Antonio Guterres, on behalf of all, the of all the children living in this world to create a better future for all of us to live. In the Parliament House of India, I am standing and telling to our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi ji, and to all our MPs to pass the climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to become action. I have three main demands to our leaders and the government to change the system. First, is to pass the climate change law as soon as possible from, as soon as possible at the parliament. If they pass this climate change law, then it would help us to control the carbon emissions and also the greenhouse gases. Second is to include climate education as a mandatory subject 
in our school education curriculum. If they include climate education as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum, then it would help us to fight the climate crisis from the grassroots. And also, it would help us to teach our world leaders by their own children and grandchildren because they can't believe in science or climate change is real. Third is to plant minimum 10 trees every year by each student in India and also in the world. In India, there are 350 million students. If 350 million students plant minimum 10 trees every year, then we will plant around 3.5 billion trees. So trust me, India will be green in after five to 10 years. I have a dream where there are more bicycles on roads instead of more motor vehicles. I have a dream where all the coil power plants and thermal power plants are replaced by clean solar renewable energy. I have a dream where all the children living in this world have the clean air to breathe, the clean water to drink, and the clean plant to live. Asking clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and clean plant to live is all our basic rights. India is facing lots of environmental issues such as floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclones, locusts, forest fire, air pollution, etc. at the same time. So these are all the impact of climate change. Many innocent people are losing their lives. Many people are becoming homeless and Thousands of people are losing their homes, and many children are dying. I'm really very worried about them. Sacrificing the lives of the millions of children living in this world for the failures of our leaders is unacceptable at any cost. Climate change is not only for me, or for you, or for someone else. Climate change problem is for every single person living in this world. Each and every child living in this country, living in this world, are already the victims of climate change. That's why I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. We don't know how to fix the ice melting in the Arctic, Antarctica, and the Himalayas. We don't know how to fix the sea level rising and submerging our beautiful islands. We don't know how to fix the locusts destroying our crops. We don't know how to fix the air pollution affecting our health and killing millions of children every year. We don't know how to fix the heat waves killing the poor people every summer. We don't know how to fix the hole in our ozone layer. We don't know how to fix the wildfires killing millions of animals and destroying millions of trees every year. We don't know how to fix the COVID-19 pandemic killing the humanity every day. We don't know how to fix the cyclones devastating millions of homes every year. We don't know how to fix the habitats of the countless and voiceless animals now used for mining. We don't know how to fix the rivers and lakes now dry and dead. We don't know how to fix the forests now transformed into deserts. If we don't know how to face the consequences, then please stop destroying it. So far, I have planted more than 3.5 lakh trees across the globe with my initiative called Monday for Mother Nature. Where we where we 
plant hundreds of trees every week with the school children on every Monday with the mission to plant one million trees every year. And also, I have a good news for everyone that Delhi University has made every student there made compulsory to plant minimum one tree every year to pass the final examination. And I'm very happy to say you all that many states of India have started teaching climate education as a mandatory subject in our school education curriculum. I received letters from Rajasthan and Gujarat government that they will include climate education as a mandatory subject in their school education curriculum. From zero to over 1.5 lakh schools have now started teaching climate education as a compulsory subject in their school syllabus. Now India has become the first country in Asia and second after Italy to include climate education as a mandatory subject in our school education curriculum. Now. Many European countries and USA have also started teaching climate education in their school syllabus. On 15th October 2020, I spent the night protesting in front of the President House of India to enact a new law to curb the Delhi's high air pollution level. On 18th October 2020, I got detained by the Delhi police. On 28 October 2020, the President of India has made a new law to curb the Delhi's air pollution crisis by signing an ordinance. Few days back, I have opened the world's first new plastic money shop where people can bring single-use plastic waste from their home and can take free rice, stationary items, or a plant sapling. The mission is to eliminate single-use plastic waste from our planet. And also, the collected single-use plastic waste will be converted into school desk, benches, house roof, house roofs and road tiles and bricks, etc. On 20 May 2022, I protested in front of the Taj Mahal with a banner writing, behind the beauty of Taj Mahal is plastic pollution. The picture got viral on the social media and the plastic uh, pollution around Taj Mahal was clean the next day and the authority was fined rupees one lakh. So these are the changes bring by just 10 years old girl child. When I began my journey, my mom didn't support me because she was worried about my future career, study and schooling. My parents cannot afford expenses to travel every week from Bhubaneswar, Odisha to New Delhi and then find to protest in front of the Parliament House of India on every Friday. So finally, we have decided to move to Delhi in 2019. And when I was invited to address the world leaders at United Nations Climate Conference 2019 COP25, in Madrid, Spain, all my family members were saying me to cancel the program as I couldn't afford the expenses to travel to Madrid, Spain. But my mom told me that I will send my daughter to you in anyhow. Don't worry, my child. And then she breaks the gold chain and then she sends me to UN. And only from that program, the world starts recognizing me. So far, I've spoken over 
400 institutions and platforms in over 32 countries. My main challenge is also to manage both my studies and activism. So actually, I take all my programs, all the conferences, and all the events in my free time or in my holidays, like in Saturdays, Sundays, summer vacation, winter vacation, or after my school hours. And also, beside this, I face lots of threat, abuse, cyberbullying to silence my voice. But I never fight with them. When I started my movement, I was alone, but today I have thousands of love and support across the globe. I have a small message to all the children living in this world. Children must tell their parents that they should walk if it's nearby or they can use the bicycle or they can use the public transport for far distances. And please don't use single-use plastic at your home and don't throw garbage or plastic on streets, oceans, rivers, seas, or any other places. All our little things can make a huge, huge, and big difference. Today, I want to share something to everyone living in this world from my little heart. We all know that we are facing a pandemic on one side and floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclone, locusts, air pollution, um, wildfires, etc. at the another side. Now, this is the time to wake up. This is the time to open up your eyes. This is the time to send your children and grandchildren to fight for their own survival and for their own future. The best gift parents can give to their children is not a beautiful house, expensive cars, or a lot of money. The best gift parents can give to their children is a beautiful green planet. To give this planet, you have to change yourself. If you can change yourself, then you can change your family. If you can change your family, then you can change your neighborhood. If you can change your neighborhood, then you can change your community. If you can change your community, then you can change your state. If you can change your state, then you can change your country. If you can change your country, then we can change the whole world. Change means empowerment. Empowerment means independent, and independent means freedom. Freedom is when you can protect your land and environment. Freedom is when you can protect your children's future, culture, and health. Freedom is when you're out of hunger. Freedom is when you can read and write. Freedom is when no one can discriminate you on the basis of caste, creed, color, sex, or any other differences. Freedom is when we are all together in this fight. Fight for your freedom. Thank you, Jehan Sanaliba Manipurne Yafre. Thank you once again. <laughs>